Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever and whenever you are. My name is Benjamin, and welcome to a tile setter tutorial. This is going to be a tutorial about how to use this new software that just, I think it was just released today, called Tile Setter. I discovered this software a while back uh, when it was in beta, and I contacted the developer because I was very interested in it. And um, they sent me a free version of the program. So full disclosure, I did receive this product for free. There's a there will be a Steam page and an itch.io page in the description for the software. It it has a, a kind of a free version to it and then also a paid version. I don't know the differences between them very well. You can go check out the pages to see those differences for yourself. But I'm going to do a quick basic tutorial on how to use it and then how to get that tile set um, set up inside of Godot. I don't know exactly how to get it set up inside of GameMaker, um, but I assume it's quite easy as well because it's very easy to get it set up in Godot. So let's start. I'm going to uh, I'm going to open up the program here, and then I'm going to open up a sprite. I'm going to create a new file, and I'm going to do uh, a width of 32 and a height of 16. We're going to do 16 by 16 tiles just to keep things simple. I'm going to choose a new palette over here. Let's do, uh, we'll do this one right here, load, okay. And then once we've chosen our new palette, we can start using it. And we'll just get a dark brown like this and fill in this here like this. Okay. And then over here, we will uh, kind of get that same color and make a little bit of a top to this. Maybe come in this far. Make some lighter rocks. This doesn't feel like the same tile set that I wanted to use, but that's okay, I guess. Something like this, and then like this. Okay. And uh, let's see. I actually don't like this palette. I'm going to change. What would be one I could use? I, I had, I thought it was this one that I was using last time, but I don't know. Oh, maybe it was this one. I think it was this one. No, it was ed Edge 16. That was it. Edge 16. That's going to be the palette I'm going to use, actually. Um, and we'll start with this dark brown here, which is kind of a purple. Then this brown here. Well, actually, we'll do this lighter color up here and this lighter brown up here like this. Um, yeah, these I like these colors more. And then we'll have probably some uh, shapes down here as well, kind of like this. M not as big. Something like this. Really simple, right? Uh, nothing too complicated. Anybody could do this, right? Anybody could make this really quickly. Um, you could add a little bit of highlights to these maybe if you wanted. Make it feel like they have an edge to them. But none of that's even really necessary. You could add a little bit more shadow on that to make it feel like it pokes out more but yeah really really quick right i made this up really quick but this isn't a tile set yet this is just two images so i'm going to press select here and select this right here and do Control c and come back to tile setter here and just do Control v and paste that there and then i'm also going to come back here and grab this one Control C, come back over here and just paste this. Control V. Now we don't need this one right now, so we're going to delete it. And you might be wondering why why on earth we would 
copy it over and then delete it. Well, once you've pasted it into here, it actually saves it and you'll see um, where we can use that. But now that we've got this base set in here, we can right click on this and we're going to do build borders parentheses blob. So this is a this is the basic um, function or whatever for setting up a platform game, a platform tile set. And if we do that, it creates this. And you can see we've got these weird white borders around it because uh, this is our tile set. So we're going to want to fill in those borders. And we can do that by clicking on this image here, coming over to source and selecting the image that we copied in. You can see that it's saved here. Even though we deleted it over here, it's still saved right here. So you can paste that there. You can see and it fills it across the top and it also um, cuts it at these corners automatically for us. And uh, you can get, obviously, what we can do here now is select this, choose the same image, select here, choose the same image, select here, and choose the same image. However, if you wanted to get real fancy, you could create different uh, edges for the different sides. And it wouldn't be very hard, but you could, um, for example, it's really common with tile sets like this to have um, two light sources, one from above and one from below that's a different color. So you could do that and make sure that your lighting was consistent. But let's just see, um, you know, if this is going to work for us. So we've got this all set up the basics here and once we've got this set up uh, you can see if we select here in the center and then click on this it will give us our our tile set kind of split apart the blob set and we can actually then draw down here and um, that must not be the right one maybe it's this brush here yeah we can actually see our tile set working in action down here and look how easy that was. This is actually a pretty good looking tile set, right? Uh, and it was literally this, two images like this. This is all I had to make, nothing fancy, anybody can do this. And uh, you know, I just used a built-in palette and a sprite and then made this. And this is, I think, a quite good looking tile set that was auto-generated from this program. And so because of this, I recommend this program. It's pretty, it's pretty simple in the features that it has. Uh, there are more and more features that are planned and there are also features that I don't even know about yet uh, because I have only figured out how to do the very basics of it. But this alone makes it worth it for me, being able to do something this quickly. So now let's um, open it up in Godot and I'll show you how you could set it up uh, in Godot. So first let's export, we'll select this. Whoops. My mouse is kind of being weird on me. So we'll select this, right click, and um, I'm just going to do export image. You can export directly to Unity, Game Maker Studio 2, and Godot. I haven't messed around with those yet, so you might want to play with those, but I'm just going to do it directly to an image. I've got a tile set, tile setter example project. We'll call this um, dirt, ti dirt auto tile. We'll save it and we can just minimize this, come back into here, find our dirt, our tile setter example project that I've already made in Godot. And there's nothing in this except for a uh, world scene right here. It's just a basic node. So basically nothing inside of this project yet. So we'll add a new node, tile map node. We will add, uh, we'll, we'll want to set our cell size to 16 and 16 and everything else should be good I think down here so then we'll create a new tile set new tile set click on that that will bring up this menu we'll press this little plus button to add a new image and you can see we've got our tile set down here uh, so we'll want to do new auto tile right here and uh, we'll ch check the snap Let's make sure that snap is on when you click on the t the tile set down here we can um, select it this way and that'll give us options over here we're going to change our snap options to 16 by 16 it'll only give you these once you've already selected it but once we've done that we can zoom in with this and select them again you can see it's all fuzzy so we're actually we need to re-import this so click on it 
import preset 2d pixel re-import there we go now we're not fuzzy anymore and um, all we need to do for the auto tile is set up the bit mask you'll want to set up collisions and stuff if you're going to have it, a player interact with it but for the bit mask you're just going to draw wherever it's dark um, except that this is the wrong sizing here so we're going to need to come here subtile size 16 by 16 over here in the selected tile and then change your auto bit mask mode to 3 by 3 minimal and then you just want to draw wherever it's dark like this um, and basically where you're drawing is where the tiles should connect to each other you can see this tile right here you would want it to connect on these edges right here and um, but for this example we can just pretty much draw wherever it's dark like this oops and this will create a little bit of a pattern that you'll be able to see here we go it's really quite quick to do this oops got those corners we don't want them my mouse is oh no oh no it's dying on me not in the middle of my video that would be terrible okay I can barely manage this because of my my mouse <laughs> okay but you can see we just drew everywhere where it was dark and then we can just do Control s to save if we come back to our room click on our scene tile map um, you can actually choose the icon for it so if we click on our tile set again uh, and then we click on in here we can choose our um, icon we'll just choose this one right here come back over here and I've got this for icon and the same exact auto tile that we had over there working inside of Godot already and that's how quick it is it's really fast really powerful and I'm really happy with it I'm really happy with the software and I can't wait to see what new features get added to it so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you did and uh, if you found it useful give it a like and a thumbs up and I will talk to you all later.